What's up you guys, I'm here with a new video today. I'm here to bring you guys what you guys have been asking for and that is my Car Curry Gear Gear deck profile for this November 2015 format. Uh, as I said in the last video where I updated pure Gear Gear, I prefer Gear Gear Car Curry. I know a lot of people are like, Gear Gear Car Curry sucks ass, it's the shit build, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can say whatever you want. I'm fully open to everyone's opinions. It's true, most people would argue that probably the pure build at times is more consistent. You don't dead draw tuners, yada, yada, yada. However, I feel Car Curry Gear Gear is superior in some senses that it's able to combo out more and it's able to put up a more massive board. And it's able to create just unbreakable fields. And I feel that that is why the deck is, in my opinion, just a little bit better. Granted, you have to weigh the the pros and the cons of consistency and comboing. So basically that, it comes down to player preference. But I'm just going to get into it. It's very, very standard stuff. You might see some interesting stuff in here, but this is just what I'm trying right now. Granted, this is the first build. It's obviously going to change. And as the format progresses, like I said in the other video, we'll uh, do updated lists. So we'll start with the basics, the standard nine. Well, technically the standard 13. You play three armor, three arsenal. Like I said, I need to get a tripod for this uh, iPhone. We got three accelerator. That's all standard. And then we play the three MK2s and the one uh, Gear Giana. Now, a lot of people have been talking about MK3, and I'm a little confused why. Maybe I missed something. I really don't think that card is as good as everyone's saying. I looked it up, and I read it only once. Now, granted, I might have missed something, but someone said that it summons this thing from the deck, which it does not. Um, I know it gets it back from the graveyard, which is cool, but... I mean, I don't know if that's a good enough reason to run it. Maybe I'm missing something. So please, someone let me know down below why people are so on MK3 because uh, I don't see it. And that's my bad for not seeing it. So let me know if there is an error that maybe there should be an MK3 in here. Uh, and we'll make that change and explain in another uh, profile. So that's it for the gear gears. And then for the car curries, the standard stuff that's always been has been two watchdogs and one strategist. They're all you need. They're they're awesome. They do what they need to do. They make your eights. They make your sevens. And my opinion, the best card in the deck is Birdman. You this card is so stupid. If you draw this with like armor, it's pretty much game. Like if you have gear gear, in my opinion, if you have gear 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 armor Birdman, it, it's game. It, if they don't have back row or, or like a way to stop you, it's game because you just combo them out, put up like double blue ray, put up a scrap dragon, put up a gear again, and you just win. So yeah, so that's it for the monsters. No hand traps in this build. Format's still establishing itself. When we when we know more, we'll update it. Uh, if people who used to main Baylor's, uh, maybe Max C will be the choice. We'll see how the format progresses. But for now, no hand traps. Uh, that's it for the monsters on the spells. Uh, triple upstart for consistency. Triple instant fusion. I know I'm... <laughs> I really like this card. There's something wrong. Like I put this in like every deck. I don't know why. I, I just really like it. I like what Norden can do for this deck. It can make, you know, your other fours. I think Castell is amazing. It can just, you know, it can make your dwellers... And what I really, really like, like my favorite play is actually to go Instant Fusion, bring back Girgano, Girgano into um, the Watchdog, and a Watchdog with Norden into uh, into like an 8. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, Raigeki and Book, standard stuff. No, no, our traps, we got Triple Gear Gear Gear. Glad it's back at 3. Makes the plays awesome. You know, you're going to have those games you dead draw the... The MKs, it happens, but, you know, you can bluff them or you can just hold them in hand. Uh, make your opponent think you have something else. Uh, on the rest of the traps, three Fiendish Chain. Card's still great. Two Call of the Haunted. Basically, like, two more Gear Gear Gears. They do a lot. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So, I'm going based off how I used to run this deck. A lot of people ran two Trap Stuns. I tried two Trap Stuns, but then I switched to one Trap Stun and one Seven Tools. And people were like, where's your Wire Tab? I never owned Wire Taps. I never used Wire Taps. And I didn't really play pure gear gear when um, it was all the hype with like triple wiretap. So I stuck to the old ways of usually double trap stun. But I tried seven tools just because A, I don't have wiretap. And B, I do like the ability to stop other opposing counter traps. And I feel seven tools lets me do that. It's so would wiretap, but seven tools I feel lets me do it for what I have access to. But this should be a wiretap. Or you can make another trap stun. It's up to you. These are the two like iffy cards. Some people run these, some people don't. Trap stun is really, really good. You go trap stun, combo them, hopefully win. So I, I think it's cool. Uh, granted, this probably should change to a wiretap or another trap stun. But it's good. And then just for the rest of the traps, torrential bottomless compulse warning and emptiness 40 cards in the main deck we'll just do the extra deck real quick and that'll do it for this video 
So we got the two copies of Norden. I really, really like what this card can do. It's stupid. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't hit Instant Fusion, but that's fine with me. So yeah, the two Nordens. Uh, onto the Synchros, one Beredo. You don't make this that much, but when you do, it comes up. It's big, 2800 is huge. It helps you bring out another tuner and do more combos or just win the game right there. Uh, Stardust to protect your board. Scrap Dragon is the one you make the most to help with your combo. Pop a dead Fiendish Chain, pop a dead Call of the Haunted. And just, you know, pop their card. And what's really cool, I really like going Scrap Dragon Compulse. Because you Scrap Dragon their back row, Compulse their monster, attack for game. So, Scrap Dragon's awesome. Black Rose for the 1-7. Pretty easy to make. Uh, and then two Berets. Honestly, this card, I can almost see myself playing three of this card. This card is stupid. It's so damn good. Like, the ability to just do the combo with Birdman. Do the combo where you put the armor back down and flip it back up with either this or Strategist. is just ridiculous. And this card is just really, really good. Call the Haunting back this card. And then just being able to punch over a problematic monster by putting it in defense or attack is just great. So, I really like the card. Uh, the most iffy card that I rarely make is Draco Sack. I do have it in here. However, I can see myself cutting it for another rank four. Just because it doesn't happen that much, it can happen with the two Borays. But a lot of times, it's just like, if you're going double Boray and you're going second or whatever, you know, if, if the first turn has already passed, you're trying to win that turn. I don't see Draco Sack being that relevant unless you're not winning and you need to make Draco Sack and tokens to protect yourself. But it's in there for that reason, exactly. Uh, two Gigagans, you only need two in this build, you don't need three. Uh, one Castell, because it's Castell, it gets over problematic monsters one dweller because it's great against everything well not everything but it's just a great card in general uh one rap city to disturb graveyards and the one rank three i play is zen mains now it could be zen mains it probably should be solar silver mountain but uh, again if you guys remember my last profile i don't have solar silver mountain so zen mains is in there for now now the biggest issue i'm having is there's a lot of rank fours i always want to play i want to play more rank fours and for that reason people are saying the clown build is better there is a clown build you guys of gear gear clowns going everything my friend jerry has been working on it there's clowns in pretty much everything vexy first told me about it so clowns can be the way that people are trying to run pure gear gear instead of going the gear 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 build because maybe it's more consistent then you just spam a bunch of rank fours now that could be another build if you guys want to see that i'll try to get a hold of some clowns and get that here on the channel but for now that's what i'm running i hope you guys enjoyed it this is just a really fun deck i really enjoy playing it this is the deck that made me say okay i actually want to build a deck and play Yu Gi Oh again now granted it's not the best deck it's not going to win the ycs it's not going to you know do amazing things like it used to but it is just a really fun deck it's very budget and it's a deck that you can just play and have fun doing it there's a lot of options in this deck and i feel that the car curry build gives you a little more options outside of rank fours don't get me wrong i think the pure build is really good it's just not my cup of tea so this is just my thoughts i hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you guys think and there's other deck profiles you want to see i'll probably have to bring to bring them to you via dn or via something else i don't have that many cards anymore but with what i do have i will uh provide profiles for you guys i hope you guys enjoy it thumbs it up thank you for watching